Since the birth of MMA, one name has become legendary, Gracie. When Hoist Gracie slew the Goliaths of the fight world, martial arts changed forever. In Northern Virginia, a Hoist Gracie black belt helps foster the legacy by producing some of the most dominant competitors in the region at Capital MMA. I'm the only black belt in Virginia under Hoist Gracie. Lamont is the only black belt in Maryland under Hoist Gracie and we both exclusively teach at Capital MMA and Elite Fitness. I founded Capital MMA in 2003. Before that, it was a club inside of the elementary schools in Alexandria, Virginia. But soon we got a following, and then in 2003, we located to an actual facility. The five elements of race were different Philosophy, give me another one. Grappling, okay. give me another one. Uh, we have the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, we have Muay Thai. We have boxing classes to supplement the Muay Thai, wrestling and judo classes to supplement the Gracie Jiu Jitsu. And then we added the CrossFit because we were looking for something that was just unbeatable from a, uh, a fitness training perspective. The Capital MMA fight team is as skilled as they are determined to claim victory in the cage. Cross trained and molded for battle. Many of their fights end up being fan favorites. I've done Taekwondo since I was six. And around uh, 2011, I was looking to do something else and I looked up uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu schools and I found Capital. Um, I asked Jeremy if I could do the MMA class eventually. He said yes. And around July 2013, he was like, do you want to fight in the next uh, OO? And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, during a fight cycle, I'm trying to train two to four hours a day. Uh, you know, it'll either be an MMA practice, which is an hour. Uh, I run about a half an hour, three days a week. I do CrossFit. I want to push the pace, and I want to get another finish. Well, I came to Capital MMA and started training, uh, but it was something that I had an interest in for a while. I've always been a competitive person, so I just was looking for an outlet for the competitive side uh, of my life that I had and felt this a perfect sport. I do a lot of cardio because a lot of times, you know, guys lose because they get tired. Anything can happen once you get in there. That's the way that I think about it. Um, you know, some people think that they have something that they can go in and just get and that'll finish the fight for them, but it doesn't really work out that way, you know what I mean? Well, it happened about five years ago after my first pregnancy. I have two children, and I wanted to find a way to get into fitness. And then I had a second child, and during that time, I got really into MMA. So I decided when I came back, I wanted to actually practice MMA. So about eight months ago, I ended up joining Capital MMA and joining the fight team. And then also, two years ago, I started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which is the grappling aspect of MMA. So it all came together. Uh, the beginning of the year. You know, I'm going to put on my best fight that I can give, so I have a lot of training to do in that time. With expert instruction and the drive for success, the Capital MMA fight team continues to climb towards greatness. Uh -huh.